The Helsinki tram system is one of the oldest electrified tram networks in the world. In 1889, Helsingin Omnibusio Sake Hito acquired the right to construct tram lines in Helsinki, which would run across the city providing alternative transport to the already popular horse-drawn omnibuses. A year later when construction started, their name was changed to reflect this, now known as Helsingin Raitiotier Ya Omnibusio Sake Hito, or HRO for short. Electrically run trams were considered, but lack of funds meant that these would also now be horse-drawn. 8.5 kilometers of track was built into the Helsinki road network, with testing starting in 1890. Mainstream traffic did not start until a year later in 1891, but this was to a rather inefficient service due to the capacity of horses being in suffice. By 1897, HRO then received the right to construct an electrified tramway into Helsinki, which was later been on and managed by German company O.L. Kummer. Over the years, the line saw numerous expansions made to it, including the line being doubled by Swedish company ASCA in 1908, and the first Finland-built tram by Suomen Autotiolisus in 1940. Today, the tram network spans across 91.2 kilometers of track, and sees a daily ridership of over 200,000 people. While in Finland, I use trams fairly often, as this was the easiest way for me to get from the Helsinki Central Station to the embassy and back. There are 11 lines in total, numbered 1 through 10, with tram 6 designated as 6, and another being 6T. 13 rolling stocks serve the line, all of various ages, totaling 140 tram units on the system. The most common tram is the Valmet NR2, of which there are 42, closely followed by the Bombardier Vario tram, which totals 40. The newest trams are Transtech Arctics, which are currently being added to the line since 2012, and the oldest still active tram is the Valmet RM1, acquired in 1955, but these are now rarely used, only serving as backups in reserve when they are there required, or available for releasing for corporate parties and events. I've got a chance to ride on both the newer Transtech Arctic, as well as the older Valmet NR1 while I was there. The Helsinki tram network is also built almost exclusively on the streets of the city, also making it a traditional tram network as opposed to a light rail. In some areas, they are however separated from road traffic, such as outside the Helsinki Central Station and on Manahai Mienti, or use pedestrian only sections like in Mikonkatu. Ever since their conception, trams in Helsinki have always had the same green base and yellow windows livery. There was a trial in 1987 where a number of trams were painted in a new orange and grey livery. This proved to be very unpopular and was subsequently returned to their original colour scheme. Tram interiors also follow one of two designs. Older trams have an all green interior with green and black landmark patterned seats, and newer trams being red with seat maquettes showing the map of the Helsinki tram network. As was the theme of all Helsinki transport links, these trams were also very clean inside, with no signs of litter anywhere to be seen. All of these were very well kept, almost appearing as new whenever you rode them. Tram frequency was also very high. While I was there, the Route 6 was down due to track maintenance work, but every other service was running to a tight schedule, meaning you were never waiting too long at a station before a tram arrived. Purchasing a ticket was also very easy. The Helsingin Sedun Likenne, or HSL Helsinki Regional Transport Authority, sell regional tickets which allow you to use any mode of transport for an hour for as many regions as you pay for. As I did at the airport when I first arrived in Vanta, I purchased a ticket from one of the station outlet machines and bought the cheapest into Helsinki ticket there was, totaling to only €2.50 for the hour. This once again was very cheap compared to London prices and really gave me an idea of what a truly nationalised transport authority could do when it properly utilises its costs and management of an all efficient service. As I never left the heart of the city while in Helsinki, the number 7 tram suited me for all my journeys between the central station, Itainen Puistotier, or Eastern Parkway, 
also known as Embassy Road, and Kalpatori Market Square, and the dock where I later took the tourist boat to Suomendina. On my first night, I also rode a tram from Helsinki Cathedral, where the ever popular Darude Sandstorm was filmed, back to the central station. This gave me my first taste of Finnish transport links within the city, and with the first service being at 6.23am, meant that I could also have plenty of time to give it a ride, without too many crowds getting in the way. I however, now needed to catch a regional train up to Tikurila, where I could then catch into city, over to Lappenranta, which is where I could then kickstart my holiday. Do check out more of what I did in Finland in Lapin Ranta by checking out this vlog on my friend's channel, 